From a group of tourists narrowly escaping an unexpected blast, to an eruption in Papua New Guinea sending a shockwave high into the sky, and a never-before-seen close-range video of the summit of Mount Stromboli. Here are the top 10 volcanic eruptions that were caught on camera. Italy has four active volcanoes, Mount Volcano, Mount Etna, the fan-favored Mount Vesuvius, and Mount Stromboli. Mount Stromboli is a 3,000-foot volcanic island in the Tyrrhenian Sea, the body of water between Italy and Sardinia. It's one of the eight Aeolian islands, forming a volcanic arc north of Sicily. Stromboli is only five square miles and is basically all volcano. As of 2019, about 300 people live on the island, an island the BBC calls the Italian Island of Perpetual Fire because of its high volcanic activity. On August 29th of 2019, Stromboli once again violently awakened and a live webcam captured it all on camera. Choppy audio aside, the live webcam has an unbelievable view of Mount Stromboli. It explodes like someone dropped a bomb through the top, sending a massive plume of ash high into the sky. Then it bursts again from the side, sending another wave of debris and dust into the ocean. Eventually, the smoke blocks the camera, and we can only hear what's happening. The summer of 2019 was a pretty active year for Mount Stromboli. An eruption at the end of June claimed a hiker's life, and the summit was shut down for tourism due to high activity. A fun fact, many believe Lord of the Rings author J.R.R. Tolkien had Mount Stromboli in mind when he came up with Mount Doom. Wakari Island, also known as White Island, is an active stratovolcano about 30 miles off of New Zealand's northern coast in the Bay of Plenty. The entire island covers about 800 acres of land, but it's just the peak of a massive submarine volcano. It is among New Zealand's most active volcanoes, built up by continuous eruptions over the past 150 years. On December 9th of 2019, several tour groups sailed out from the mainland to explore White Island when the unexpected happened. The volcano violently erupted, forcing them to flee toward the waiting boats. 47 people were on the island when it exploded. Sadly, some of them didn't make it off. A dramatic home video by Alessandro Kaufman captures the live perspective. Iniciamos às 10, são quase 2 horas da tarde, finalizando aqui. É isso. The video opens with a group of eager tourists headed out to White Island. As their boat draws near, you can already see a bit of steam emitting from the mountain's peak. They embark for the beachhead, equipped with protective gear and gas masks in case something happens. We get picturesque shots of the steam, but a guide warns how hot it is – almost 300 degrees Celsius or 572 degrees Fahrenheit. The group eventually makes it back on the boat and is far enough away when White Island blows its lid. The guides usher everyone inside the cabin as the toxic volcanic air is incredibly harmful. 
Sadly, 22 people lost their lives during the eruption or succumbed to their injuries in the hospital. Many sustained severe third-degree burns to most of their bodies and needed several skin graft surgeries. The 570-degree steam and toxic smoke engulfed those trapped on the island. New Zealand regulators charged 13 parties for the tragedy on White Island, but everything is currently tied up in court as of 2022. The Bismarck Archipelago sits in the Solomon Sea, just off the east coast of Papua New Guinea. The island of New Britain is the largest among several and serves as the border between the Solomon Sea and the Bismarck Sea. About half a million people live in the shadow of Mount Tverver, an active stratovolcano on a northeastern peninsula. Mount Tverver has a long history of destruction in New Britain. In 1994, an eruption devastated the town of Rabaul. In 1937, another eruption claimed over 500 lives, and a blast in 2006 shattered windows up to seven miles away. While sailing in Blanche Bay, one videographer captured another explosion in August of 2014. Look at the top of your screen when the volcano erupts. We see this white cloud emerge and then almost collapse on itself. Then the shockwave pushes through the other clouds and out to who knows where. A massive ash plume rises into the sky and 13 seconds later we finally hear the big boom. By the video's end, the ash plume looks like Godzilla come to destroy New Britain. The resulting ash cloud was so big that air traffic control had to reroute flights between Australia, Japan, and Shanghai. Meanwhile, many evacuated the Rabaul district, perhaps having flashbacks to 1994. Some stayed behind to watch the eruption from the beach, and the Australian government advised against visiting the island until Mount Tverver calmed down. Sakurajima Island, which translates to Cherry Blossom Island, is an active volcano on the southern tip of Kyushu, Japan. It used to be its own island, but massive lava flows during a 1914 eruption connected it to the mainland, forming the Osumi Peninsula. As it stands, Sakurajima is the most active volcano in Japan, a country ripe with volcanic and seismic activity. In 2013, Cherry Blossom Island had already erupted 499 times before August. That means if you put a camera out there, you'd capture more than one eruption every day. The August 18th eruption set a new ash plume record for Sakurajima, and a few stationary cameras were there to capture it. We get a few different angles of Sakurajima blowing its lid as a massive plume of black ash rises up into the air. Another camera set further away captures the entire eruption in all of its glory. Finally, we cut to a nighttime shot, allowing us to see the red and orange hues brewing underneath the smoke. Sakurajima gave scientists cause for concern in the summer of 2015. Japan's meteorological agency issued a level 4 emergency warning that urged those living nearby to prepare for evacuation. They were worried that Sakurajima was on the verge of a major eruption, and it finally did in February of 2016. Thankfully, the eruption wasn't as bad as they thought. Then again, Sakurajima has a lot of volcanic competition since it lives on the Pacific Ring of Fire. 
Of all the volcanoes in Iceland, the most infamous has to be Eyjafjallajökull, located just north of Skoar in the southern part of the country. The volcano first formed an estimated 780,000 years ago, and to this day is considered one of the most active in the world. In March of 2010, roughly 3,000 earthquakes were felt in the areas surrounding the volcano, a clear sign that something might be looming on the horizon. Not long after, the volcano erupted following nearly 200 years of dormancy. The resulting ash cloud ended up being the highlight of this whole event. It traveled southeast towards Europe and ended up heavily disrupting air travel for approximately 10 million travelers over a six-day period. The eruption lasted for many months, with periods of lessened and heightened activity. In October of 2010, scientists finally announced it was over, but given the geothermal activity of the area, that it would likely erupt again. A subglacial volcano is an unusual natural phenomenon, most commonly observed in Iceland and Antarctica. According to geologists, the heat of the lava causes the overlying ice to melt, allowing the water to rapidly cool the lava. This results in a phenomenon very similar to what we can observe in submarine volcanoes such as Hunga Tonga. With a population of nearly 150 million people, Java in Indonesia is the world's most populated island. On this island also lies Mount Semeru, one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Part of the reason for this has to do with its location. Semeru is located on the Alpine Belt, a chain of mountains between Java and Sumatra and one of the most seismically active places on our planet. On December 4th of 2021, Mount Semeru erupted for the second time that year. Video shot by locals shows the moment right after the eruption occurred, causing a large cloud of smoke to cover the skies and advance towards a community living a short distance away. The video picks up shortly after the eruption and captures locals frantically trying to escape the wall of debris advancing towards them. Oh. Oh, A massive wall of smoke and ash is about all you can see towering in the distance. The sheer size of the eruption is enough to make anybody feel like the world is ending. Just imagine seeing that out your window where you live right now. Spooky, ain't it? Thankfully for those in this video, the volcano was still far enough away to allow everybody to escape uninjured. Just a few hours later, the village was coated in a thick layer of ash. The eruption caused about 3,600 people to be displaced, and while the government was quick to provide relief, I'm sure it'll be a while before people feel comfortable moving back home. The December 2021 eruption was Semeru's largest in recent history, and one that came with little warning. Krakatoa Volcano is one of the most famous on Earth. This caldera is found in the Sunda Strait between the islands of Java and Sumatra and is part of a volcanic island group. The eruption it is perhaps most famous for occurred back in 1883 and took the lives of tens of thousands of people. 
To this day, it remains one of the most violent volcanic events in recorded history. In more recent years, Krakatoa has shown some serious signs of activity, and it all came to a head in 2018. On Thursday, October 25th of that year, photographer Martin Rietze captured the moment the volcano blew its top. The video you're about to see has become one of the most iconic eruptions ever caught on camera. The video features multiple nighttime eruptions in stunning clarity. Each time, molten rock rains down the sides of the mountain. Roughly two months after this video was taken, the volcano experienced an eruption on a scale not seen in recent history. The entire southwestern flank collapsed into the ocean creating a tsunami that impacted the shores of Sumatra and Java and took over 400 lives. This ended up being the deadliest volcanic tsunami in Indonesian history since, as you might have guessed, the 1883 eruption. The Kingdom of Tonga is a group of 169 islands nestled about 500 miles off the east coast of Fiji. Just over 100,000 people live scattered among them. In early 2022, the nation made news around the world when the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano erupted. Hunga Tonga is a submarine volcano, meaning it's hidden underwater. On January 15th, after about a month of increased activity, the volcano erupted with such force the ash cloud rose 36 miles into the sky. Satellite imagery also captured the eruption and gives you an even greater idea as to the scale. Even more impressive is the footage that was captured by the Tonga Geological Service. The closest civilization to the volcano is the Tongan capital of Nuku'alofa. It sits about 40 miles away and was heavily impacted during these events. Ash blanketed everything in sight and destroyed an estimated $17 million worth of crops. Like many other volcanoes on this list, the eruption triggered a small tsunami which struck the islands of Tonga. Four people lost their lives here, and two others went missing in Peru. It was an eruption that was truly unlike anything we have seen in modern times. NASA later said that the eruption was hundreds of times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Just try to wrap your head around that. In the end, the eruption ranked at a 5 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, but many argue it will eventually be classified as an extremely rare 6. There are a ton of tiny islands off the southern tip of Japan. One of those islands, Kuchino Erabujima, is known for its agriculture, fishing, seasonal tourism, and volcanic activity. The only way on or off the island is by boat, so when Mount Shindake decides to erupt, 147 residents must grab the next ferry. Mount Shindake sports a pretty destructive history. It has erupted several times in the past century, including a deadly 1933 blast that resulted in lava flows burying nearby villages. It erupted again in 1980, creating a 2,600-foot fissure on the eastern slope and again in 2014, resulting in a pyroclastic flow. Then, a static camera in 2015 captured its most recent eruption. The wide view of Mount Shindake puts the sheer size of its eruption in perspective. While it's not erupting like a Hollywood movie, the massive ash plume is still pretty impressive. It stretches high into the clouds, eventually getting bigger than the volcano itself. Thankfully, the residents had an 11-day warning before the big boom. Scientists saw a spike in seismic activity on May 18th, along with some steam rising from Shindake's crater. Then, on May 29th, the volcano exploded, sending an ash cloud 30,000 feet into the sky. 
The early warning signs allowed the Japanese Coast Guard to evacuate the islanders in time. Thankfully, they didn't have to take the ferry. I think it's fair to say that the United States is not exactly known for its volcanoes. In the last several hundred years, there have only been three to show any signs of activity in the lower 48 states. But of the eruptions we have had, there is one that stands above the rest. Within the northwestern United States lies a massive mountain range. This range contains some of the most dangerous volcanoes on the continent, including the infamous Mount St. Helens. Starting on March 27th of 1980, multiple volcanic explosions began to occur on Mount St. Helens. These, however, were soon forgotten when the unimaginable occurred on May 18th of that year. This eruption quickly became the most significant to occur in the United States since 1915. The eruption began at around 8.30 a.m. on an unsuspecting Sunday morning. It was preceded by an earthquake, which is believed to have triggered the blast. The force of the eruption caused the entire north face to slide away, allowing pressurized gas and steam to violently escape. The part of the volcano that collapsed fell into the lake below. This sudden displacement of water created one of the largest tsunamis in recorded history. It wasn't long before ash had risen 80,000 feet into the sky. The volcanic mudslides, also known as lahars, traveled for 50 miles, destroying everything in its way. 24 megatons of thermal energy were released, which is roughly 1,600 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The eruption of Mount St. Helens was one of, if not the most catastrophic eruption the United States has ever experienced. Thanks to the remoteness of the landscape, only 57 people perished. Still, even one life for any of these eruptions is too many. Over a billion dollars of damage was done, or about 3.5 billion if adjusted for inflation. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.